Do not disturb. Ugh. So, um, anyway, it's gonna bring, it's gonna fucking work. The, um, right now, he just, he came at me, you know, and I didn't, I, he, attempt, like, he came into my house while I was on the phone and he, like, pretended to bite my nose off. Like, he, like, clenched his teeth, like, right in front of my face. Like, he, like, pretended to bite my nose off. And I shoved him back out of my house, you know? Like, I, like, leaned back in my chair as he did it and then shoved him on by his chest back out of the fucking doorway and was just like... He was calling you... Spineless pussy. Guy that to me, I would step on like a cockroach, but anyway, he was up all, and I manned up and I'm doing blah, blah, and I think, God, I don't know, did part of me rub off on you, Simon? I don't know what the fuck. Well, maybe I mean, some of you guys see that I have some degree of success with a real strong presence. Dude, I just but, smiled at him the whole time he did it, too. I was just like, what the fuck? I didn't really take any of it seriously. You know what I mean? It's just like, like I didn't even get theater. heated. My heart rate didn't even go up. Nice. I was like, dude, I miss being your friend, bro. Why won't you even fucking talk to me? And he was like, you can't talk to me like that anyway. Fucking like, his, like the last time I told him the truth, my honest fucking opinion, and he couldn't handle it. And, you know, like, uh... That's what he's afraid of, is the fact that I reflect what he doesn't want to see, you know? And it, it's like, uh, it's, I, I, can't, I, I can't just do what I do without actually bringing to light what he truly is. So it's like, um, I don't know. It's messed up. It's a messed up kind of, uh, you know, because he can't help his own psychology. He's, he's stuck thinking what he thinks, you know what I mean? Like, he can't, he can't change that. Um, but, uh, I just, I don't know. I, I see that, like, once we're, once we're through this process, imagine us working together. You mean him actually able to throw events all, all, you know, integrated through our whole, our whole neighborhood. We could have vending and we could have, I mean, different stages and, um, man, this place is... Other than that, it's amazing. We've done so much. You guys have done so much. It's like, about we need to. There is a opportunity on Thursday night. The full moon to go to Pua Mana. No, Pua Mana. On the way to the on the way to Kahala. You are the one who is in everything. There is one of the eighty-acre pieces along with the same side of the road the Shires on. No. A rainbow gathering starts here in a couple days. Oh, okay. And, and Tuesday, and then the Peace Tribe, one of our musical groups, is going to play Thursday night. Remind us, the calcified stones are breakable, and our paved trees are not. But, you know. Okay. There will be a fun event, I might go. I'll put it on my calendar. Wait, you said Wednesday night? Thursday. Thursday. The full moon. Oh, that's the night of Garden Temple. Good, because I don't. I'm not allowed to go to Garden Temple, so I'll go to that instead. Puaman is just between here and Pahoa. It's like two miles outside Pahoa on the left. After you pass Lake Ani Estates turn, and it's going to be marked on the left. I bet. No enthusiast. He was just sitting over here a few days ago. Yeah, we're friends. He pulled into town. He wanted to say hi. Rory was uh, renting his house Rory for the was there. Yep. Rory <laughs> likes, he likes Rory. <laughs> This is trippy shit. Where is this? There's the album cover. Oh. I don't know. Electro dub. Oh, I just have to ask my phone what we're listening to. But yeah, it's all just like super spacey. I like it. I'm recording, so I'll be able to ask my phone later. I'll be like, what are we listening to? And I'll zap it. They can figure it out. 
Mm -hmm. Now you just, you just click the side button on my phone right here. You just hold your thumb in and just ask it, what are we listening to? And it'll, it'll tell you the name of it. And then I screenshot it. So I save a picture of that. So I remember later when I'm DJing or when I'm like getting ready to DJ to download the song off the internet and find it so I can use it in my music. You know what I mean? So that's I, it's just like the system for me of, of just grabbing what's good while while I'm there while my thoughts on it you know what I mean because I can't remember I can't just tell myself like oh remember the name of this song there's way too many songs to remember so anyway um, I'm excited I'm glad that he came to you that is a significant thing right the fact that he actually like that shows that he um, he is really intimidated about me throwing the dance on, on Sundays. I said I'm going to do a free dance on Sundays. I, I brought up that access thing and he said, no, I'm not obstructing his access. We got that all cool. Right? Yet he like takes pictures of people that come to see me and then calls the police and says that they're doing drug deals at my house mm. and stuff. Like, so he's like targeting innocent people that are coming over to my house for whatever reason and uh, trying to troll them. It's and a I'm vulnerability like, for so, all of us, isn't it? It is. I mean, yeah. so he's like actually like narking on innocent people falsely and, um, you know, like drug house in my neighborhood he's trying to present you like that yeah like, but how does that help our community that's fucking horrible it no. it's horrible we don't call the cops no so we stupid. talk to the person we really think that problem is and we try to work it out directly yeah. but he's not doing that with you because he's Dude, he can't even talk to me he can't even have a conversation with me because he knows he's so in the wrong like he just won't he knows he's that not obstructing your access now though I mean, right now I can't drive through there. Why? He's having dance today. Oh. Because and there's people parked in there or something. Yeah, I mean it's like I mean and he's and he's charging people across the across the way and stuff. I'm like I you know like so. And then, and then if I walk down there, I get chased off with a bat with me. If I'm on foot. That's what happened last time. He chased me and my girlfriend off with a bat and a maze, like yelling and stuff in the dark. I'm like using my phone as a flashlight. We're running away from Garden Temple, like from threat of violence. Uh, no, I'm good. And uh, yeah, I mean, seriously, I'm just like, I went down there with a bucket of Lilikoi to donate to the dance just because I had too much fruit, you know, and I needed people to just eat it so, I could, so it wouldn't go to waste. And I wasn't even there really to dance and I um, wanted to show Loren Garden Temple thought it would be nice to just like show him, show her, you know, like, hey, check this awesome thing out. No, he chased us off with a bat and yelling. He just like fucking, it was crazy. Um, all of his workers were there trying to, trying to reason with him. Everyone was just like, oh my God, he's acting like a total psychopath right now. Like what the fuck is going on? He cannot handle me. He's like, he just won't, he can't even talk to me. There's, I'm, and I want to tell him about this movie idea. I want to say like, you know, I've got a solution that'll work for all of us and it'll help your public image. You've got the, all this slander going on about you and uh, whatever. I think we actually should address these things and we can make you the bad guy in this movie, but we will all have compassion for you because we'll also love what you've created and just see you as a product of nature and, and, and ego is, and you have to be, you're losing your battle to your ego. But in the end of this movie, you're going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. We're all going to hug and everybody's going to throw the world's biggest party and we're going to set the biggest example of like love tribe fucking uniting ever. And like everybody, it's going to be like, it's going to make everyone's heart on, on earth melt with love. Like, because they're going to see that if we can overcome these things within ourselves, you know, these like tendencies that our egos drive us to do these fucking absurd things, if we could overcome those and actually just choose love over, over desire, then dude, we could, we could really change the world with this. We are going to do it. We We're going to change the world, are. bro. It's we fucking going to be sick. This is exciting. Yeah. So uh, we just got to, I have to be able to be, have the conversation with him. And I mean, if he really thinks about it, he'll know. This will help his self-image. He has to play the bad guy. <laughs> he has played the bad guy on purpose. He's having fun with it. He knows what he's doing. He's egging yeah, me on. I'd love it to be this conscious, but I don't, I don't know. Well, that's asking a lot, but we'll see. We'll see.
But anyway, I just wanted to let you know where we're at. Okay, that's cool. There's going to be a lot of noise for a minute because I'm going to try to compete with him now with his with his events. If he's throwing a party, I'm going to throw a party at the same time. And uh, we're just going to, you know, and mine's going to be free. And then people are going to donate. I'll have a, a tip jar by the DJ and, he, and the DJ can tip me whatever he wants out of it. I don't even care. And that'll go towards a new dance floor and a new... Are we, are we able to get up? Are we going? Are we getting up? Oh yeah, I gotta probably head back. Yeah, my too. my house Thank is, is bouncing. But, um, I love you so much. One obvious loose end to look into the taxes. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I just barely, I just barely paid him sixty dollars a couple weeks ago. Like not even two weeks ago when he chased. He doesn't want to talk to you either. Like, the night. How are we no. Resolve this now. He's I don't separate. know. We gotta. No, we, that's your bill. We, we gotta force him to be. We gotta force him to talk to me. We gotta have a mediator, a mediator or somebody to step in and just say no. We are gonna have a conversation. Which the courts called me the other day about the case when he hit me with the machete and they asked me what I wanted to do about it if I wanted to send him to prison or whatnot and uh, I was like not really I mean I would rather us just work it out and have peace you know like I'm not I haven't done anything retaliatory <clears throat> I've just been trying to shine love and just show him that it's not affecting me but not giving him the, that benefit even of just like acting like it's even bothering me you know but um Oh, it's been a huge problem and stressor, and I do feel left out on Thursday nights. And, uh, you know, like, I, I, I want to be able to work together, and I imagine the future of all of us just working as a team is so beautiful. It's just such an, it's an amazing vision, and I really, I really think we can pull this off. So I'll, 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 we'll get through to him somehow. Obviously, and the can. fact that he came to you today is significant. You guys haven't talked in what, 12 years or so, 13 years? Oh, nah, been a while. So, I mean, dude, we that's- I didn't even barely consider this talking this morning. He vented on me for five or 10 minutes and then went away. Well, that's still history happening right now that was just like bam what they had a 10 minute conversation are you serious i mean dude jonah good good man so i really didn't think you'd still be scrubbing what'd you do just jump up now that i'm coming down i love you uncle dude okay i got you i your your legacy is safe in my hands brother Let's carry the vision on to the four corners of the world and to the galaxies. What's all this music going on over here? <laughs> yeah, baby. Thank <laughs> you.